Hello, hope I'm doing well, and I want to go over a bit of a recap for 2023 in terms of Azure Lane and in terms of my channel. So just, you know, just chat for a little bit. So starting off 2023, I was not playing as much. I was kind of put on the back burner. I was a bit burnt out. Events have been kind of same old, same old. They took away the challenge mode. A lot of friends I was playing with hadn't been playing for a while or were also putting it on the back burner. So I was kind of eh, not really digging it at the time. Log in occasionally, and then we had the rerun event for Culverod of Dawn's Rhyme, and I had already played that event, so and got the ships I want. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just skip that, not worry about it, go get some of the prints, and be done with it. Yeah, I was not really playing it too much, but this is an okay event when I first ran. Got some nice ships. Quite a fan of Talon, and she's free, so when it gets added to War Archives, Talon will be available as the drop ship, as well as in the Gotcha Pool. And then Gromkey should be available in like the Merit Shop or something. The rest will be added to their various pools. Next, we have the Lunar New Year stuff. So, Joint Operation Winter Pathfinder. I also skipped this one for the most part. Where did I get? I think I might have. No, I didn't even get Bristol. I got Tingon. Uh, you can probably guess why. But skip the rest. I don't have. I think I've... No, I don't have Theseus. I looked at her skills and I'm like, oh, that's not Perseus, too. Whatever. Bit, bit silly of me, but yeah, but overall, yeah, nothing too crazy in this event. But, you know, this just looks nice. And we got another munition ship. That took me like five tries to say. She was free. I don't think she had skin, but I believe there was a free Yatsen skin around this time, along with a retrofit. Um, where is it? Yep. Nope, that's not it. Maybe not. I think there was a free Yatsen skin. And she got retrofit, which is really good. Got Fatesome for FTG, and I was like, oh yeah. Boom, that's great. And so I got it day one. Got the FTG Fatesome 5, because I had the coins. I wasn't doing, really, doing much. Yeah, overall, um, if this was well, added to permanent, I believe. Or should be. Like, An Chun's the best one here, because she is the, what are they called? Missile cruisers? Missile destroyers? Quite nice for like a um stream challenge mode. Maybe some skins I completely forgot about like where is she? Like this Alabama skin. Someone was talking about like wow, this is a really nice skin. I had I had not seen it, completely mind blanked. I knew about pretty much stopping after like between Agir and Yatsen. Those are the ones before then. I like the Tingon and Theseus skins. Other than that, no recollection of anyone else's event. Next, we had some Valentine stuff. I made sure, obviously, well, Lulu has not left my main secretary slot since I got her, so I didn't work for that, but when Valentine's come around, make sure you have whoever you want in your secretary slot to get a little gift from them, and it, it's just a little thing in your inventory, you need a little note in your mail. Make sure to start in the mail, that way you don't lose it. And if it's a Bolin, a collab ship, and I don't know about the little ships, at least the bull and the collab ships, you will get a generic one from Akashi. These are nice skins. Elb, really nice Elb skin. And the funny Pymot skin. Is sex funny. Then we got Call of Arms for Royal Navy. So like, oh, okay. We already had Vanguard at this point. So then we got Implacable, Royal Oak, Skillia, Argus, and Hero. And I was still kind of meh. I got Implaco pretty early on and just pretty much skipped everyone else. Skilly, I was kind of like, okay. That's Dido class number five. Light colored hair. Looks very similar. Still have Argus, though. I was surprised I still had her. I know I was doing my EXP video. Someone was like, oh, you forgot Argus. And I was like, I did forget Argus. Astute observation. Yeah, Black was really good. Nice slower. Has a bunch of other effects. Power creeps. Arc Royal to some extent in terms of usage and personality. Next up, we had the Dandelion Hymn event rerun. Now, it's a really good event, so once you add to archives, definitely try and pull for it. You got Aquila, really, really good. Duca de Gilly Abruzzi, that's part of her name, we should call her Duca. Uh, it's going to be free, so you can just farm her. Victoria Veneto, really good. And the rest, meh. I like their designs for the destroyers. Not bad. The Sardinia ships always look really good, except for Torticelli. 
I'm going to say it. I'm not a Torticelli fan. She she looks smelly. Let's see if it loads anytime this week. But uh, Torticelli, I'm not a huge fan. She she got this shield on her. That makes it look like she's she actually stinks. Like she looks smelly. Her hair looks greasy. It looks like she hasn't showered in months. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm not a Torticelli fan. Yeah, that's fine. Just know that she looks like she smells bad. Had a Magi Chan rerun. It's a little Magi. Had people really say Queen Elizabeth pretty good. I missed her because when I saw her preview, I misread the translation as Ajax meta, and I was like, "Well, I don't really care for Ajax. I'm not in defeat or the bullying stuff, so not for me." And then later, someone's like, "Oh, it's Queen Elizabeth." I'm like, "Oh shit, I should have actually read it." But I was not making videos at the time, so forgive me. So March 16th, we're getting close to the channel start date, but not there yet. We had Micro Lair Melody rerun for Ian, and as well as Stars of the Shimmering Ford. Uh, quite like this event. Got some nice ships. Got uh, Bermerton. Ingerham was adding the rerun. Intrepid. Went and saw her. Reno. I really wanted to get Reno during her rerun, and when she added to War Archives, and I could not get her. So finally, the last Wishing Well, I selected her, and it was a pain to get her there. She did not want to come home, but I got her. So now I have the ship whose name is. Namesake is geographically closest to me. Yeah, and you got Casablanca added in permanently, but Independence retrofit exists now, so kind of sad. Ruin of the finally North Carolina Bunny Girl skin, or Bunny Girl skins, sports skins, all that good stuff. So here we are. The event that I started the channel with, and... About the time was CarrierCon 2023. I went to because a friend had said, oh, hey, this is going on. We we both went. We didn't actually meet up with each other because neither of us actually said to each other we were going, which is unfortunate. But I went with someone else. And it was decent. It wasn't too packed. There's some uh, booths with some artists selling some stuff. There were some panels. There was a history panel. There was a World of Warships panel. And there was another Zero Lane panel, and that's the panel I went to. And right as I got there, we went to the restroom, did our business. I was like, oh, there's a panel going on. And my friend had no idea what a Zero Lane was, so he got a crash fucking course. And the panel was not particularly great. The audio was not good. Fortunately, during the Zero Lane anniversary event that went on, it was a lot better. It was all fixed. You actually hear what's going on, but you could not hear what's going on. So it was not great. Um, no offense to the panelists. It was just not a whole lot of energy going on. The host was doing his best, but with the audio issues, and just was not going great. Yeah, it's about this time. It's when I saw the channel, so I saw that, and I was like, oh. I'll be honest with you. I do not watch other content creators' stuff for Azure Lane. I didn't do it beforehand, and now I do the channel. I don't want to copy someone else. I don't want to steal their ideas. I don't want to steal their work. So I do it all on my own. But I kind of like briefly skimmed through like, oh, who are these people? I had no idea who they were. <laughs> Been playing for a couple years and that's how kind of isolated I was within the guild I was, well, I was in a guild at that point. The guild I was previously in and like that circle of people where we would just kind of figure shit out on our own. It would be like one person that could like briefly look up like what the JP or CN players were doing. And I kind of looked and I was like, well, you know, there's there's live streams, new stuff comes out, but there's not like a consistent thing. And I think a different friend that wasn't there had mentioned that with the content creators that he looked for, there wasn't like new player stuff that was useful and that was up to date. Like stuff changes. Fairly regularly. Like, it'll be Gear Lab updates, it'll be Merit Shop updates. And you can kind of pivot what you're going to do. And there's nothing really explaining that. You know, stuff from 2020, which most of it, still pretty good. It just, when you see it, it's like, if you look for information and we want to see the new stuff, well, 2020 and it's 2023, it's still good information for the most part. Some of it, there's other stuff that got added, so they obviously couldn't do that in the video because it wasn't there yet. 
So that's what I want to do with the channel was I said, you know what? I could do that. And so I tried and I've kept trying. And it did not go well with the first couple months. But hopefully I provide you guys with consistent content. Um, like only one week I really took off. I still had a worship Wednesday, but that was I was in New Jersey. And I was still recording, a, working on a video of my tour of New Jersey and my tour of Intrepid. A little bit burnout, I'll be honest with you, but, you know, that happens when you kind of push yourself with something new. But yeah, just, I was like, okay, I, let me give it a shot, see if you like it. And, you know, got to 400, so thank you for that. But yes, enough, uh, enough of that sappy stuff for now. Crossfall event. I really like this event because it's a new game mode, and so I was like, okay, new game mode, I can talk about that. You know, try and mean first in. I'm not going to say best dressed. Terrible audio quality. All my videos in the beginning, and for a while, had terrible mic quality. I could not go back and watch them now, and I hate the sound of my own voice, so it was very difficult to do. But, yep, so it was a nice event. I wasn't a huge fan of the skins. Uh, Vaclin the goat, because she makes a funny noise, had a skin, so I got that. The battle pass. Yeah, so this was uh, the origin of the channel right here, this event. This and Carrier Con. Like, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's give it a shot. So, April 6th, we had the new server open, Little Enterprise, and they got a bunch of bonuses. I didn't pay too much attention. I probably should have paid a little closer attention. Just to help out with, because there's new stuff there that we just didn't get. And prior to this, I was in the newest survey of Magi, but I was a couple months in. So I could talk about what got me to start as Erlane. So for a while, I'd seen like stuff on it on Instagram, like people post about it. And I remember someone's like, "Oh, you can marry the boats now." I was like, "That's fucking stupid." And it was, I think it was like a Takao or a T Akagi, one of those two. Not like Takao. Otago. Honestly, like, that's... Mm. And I kept seeing Lulu art, though. I was like, okay. I'm intrigued. I see the red hair. I'm intrigued. It's like a fucking bull. Oh, red. There we go. And I forgot... I don't know the artist's name, but it was something around the time Micro or Melody was coming out. And it was kind of like chibi-style art. Not completely chibi. But they were doing stuff of Lulu and Bremi. And I didn't realize they were separate characters. And I remember someone, one of the captains on a post I saw was like, this is a very Lulu thing to do. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? You know what? Let's take a look. And I saw the game. I think I ended up on the Sandy server, server at first. Maybe. I'm not sure. I might have been still been on Amagi. I don't know. I chose a 0-2 because Just Gunner was taken on Azure Lane. So it might have been my own doing. Played for a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean, I didn't even lock auto mode, and I was like, well, I don't... And I looked on the wiki, and I was like, okay, Honolulu is not available as a gotcha drop. Unfortunate. I can't just, you know, wait in there. Get lucky. Just in chapter 10, I'm like, uh, if there's no auto mode, if I have to, like, do the bullet hell style stuff the whole time, I don't, I don't want to do it. So I gave up. I'm play first playing. And then, about time of the Richelieu event was when I Picked up again. We're in lockdown. I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. Let's try it. A couple months later, got in the guild. They announced the guild 2.0 stuff. Guild was Soccer Fox, part of Fox Coalition. I met a bunch of people I'm still friends with there. Hung out there for a couple years. And then eventually kind of started getting burnt out with the game. Left for a bit. And yeah, so then looping back to what I talked about before. Should have covered the new uh, little enterprise server a bit more, but I did not. That's so be it. Oh look, they could have got they got Nagato. That's pretty cool. What the heck? But everyone got a little E to rerun. So that's cool. Flame touch dagger, doing the I say fuck because it's funny, but it's like Foch, Foch, Fook. Uh, she's French, and I probably drove some people crazy. I know I saw a meme somewhere of someone saying you're not funny for saying it, and I know it was not directed to me, directed at all of us for being haha funny, fuck. Yeah, I quite like Fox. Quite nice. Really good design. Hopefully her artist gets to do some more 
ships. I think Fock has another skin now. New Battle Pass skin. Next up on April 20th, 420 Blaze It, baby. Had the event I started the game with, Richelieu, where I did not get her the first time, I think. On the rerun, I got her. So this is the War Archives, which I add permanently. And made the game a lot easier. There you go, Richelieu. Really good. Season event. Um, didn't really bother much with the other ones. I remember when I first started, I think the only two I got was Bjorn and La Gassonere. Those are the only two ships I got from that event. I ended up getting uh, San Diego instead from the Gacha Pool. That was... <laughs> but no, San Diego is really good. And San Diego hard carried. Ended up being my first oath because I didn't have Lulu yet. And I was like, you know what? I got the got the first ring from getting Laffy to Affection 100. And then I was saving it. And then I got a second ring from like one of the anniversaries. But yeah, it was an anniversary going on at the same time as Skybound was starting. And so I was like, okay, Sandy, you've earned it so far. There you go. And you know what? Good investment. She did good. Decent skins. I feel like John Bart. John Bart's got really nice design. And then a week later, we had Little Formidable. And I made a meme, but it uh we didn't have the voice lines yet for Little Formidable, so it's not as good. I could probably remake it at some point. But we got at the butt battle. <laughs> Made me about that one. But we got the first rerun event for a collab. That being Dead or Alive. Remember this? So yeah, you can uh, could have gotten some of Dead Alive characters and got two new ones. Which was surprising because for other rerun events, for you know normal game events, they stopped doing additional characters just because they were adding more URs. I'm not a fan of that, but so be it. Yeah, uh, I think Honoka was the best for a while. They add the oil cap like a month later after she first got added, and then it sucked. Yeah, uh, dead or alive. There you go. And then in May, we had Little Prince Eugen. Very sus. And then the Northern Overture event. Rerun, uh, not rerun. War Archives. There you go. So you get good old Paimot Mercuria, the meme queen herself from the JP server uh, live streams. Definitely watch them. I think they're a super cut of all the Paimot moments in them. Pretty good. All right. This event, for whatever reason, I just cannot bring myself to like the Russian faction. Like I got, there's Paimot, I kind of like Talon's design, and that's about it. And like Murmansk. That's, that's all I got. But you get the Chapaev gun, and then May 18th, we had Royal Fortune rerun, and it turned out to be very good, as you could gimmick the submarine weekly raid, so it's pretty cool. And then there's a Call to Arms Iron Blood Phase 1, so this was starting to lead into the Bismarck 2 event, and where is it? Roll, scrolling up, there we go, Confluence of Nothingness, there you go, Bismarck Zwei, who, turned, who most people thought she was terrible at first. People saying this is a disappointment, people were outraged. I looked around a little bit in the community, and people were people were not happy with this. People were like, you know, it doesn't look very good. You know, why would they waste it on this? I still think we should have had, you know, Admiral Shear, one of the really good submarines that was quite effective. There we go, Bismarck's why. Sort of reasons, I guess. And turned out she was really fucking good. So uh, there you go. And she can use the reduced penalty gear for out of ammo that regular Bismarck could. They had U556 meta, which for a while they had somewhere in the game. They had hit U565, or one of the numbers was switched. And we had Vestal meta and Nelson retrofit, where prior to that, I, I didn't really like Nelson. I was like, okay, Banana Lulu, but that's about it. And that's like begrudgingly Banana Lulu. And they had a retrofit, and then she was actually nice. I'm like, holy shit, they added the dairy to the soon. And we had the New Jersey skin, and then we don't talk about the Anchorage skin. Well, it's pretty good skins. You know, just, uh... Oh, and there's the free Yatsen skin. That's quite nice. So it was a bit after her retrofit. And then in June, we had another little character, this time Lil Taiho. 
Um, we had some skins. We had a Magi, Laffy got a skin, Chapaev, Illustrious, a lot of party dress skins. Free Cleveland skin. Ran some other party dress skins. I thought that Washington was new for that event. I guess not. Huh. Interesting. Some skins from that. Add limited event. Soaring Asperus. We can get a I-10 skin for free. Some O skins for Champagne, Harbin, and Hermione. I'm still surprised about the Hermione one. I get Harbin. Chinese server. Champagne's pretty popular. I don't think Harmony was that popular. Gear Lab updates. We had some pretty good stuff added. This for like heavy enemies. That's what those rockets are for. Just decent DD gun. And then the sub. The uh, anti submarine torpedoes from Surface Mount. That's pretty cool. Moving ahead to towards the end of June, we had. The New Jersey event rerun, so hopefully you got her and Archer Fish and San Diego and not San Diego, San Francisco, the other California city. Yeah, so New Jersey really good. Archer Fish really good. San Francisco pretty decent. Tycho Boise was sure it better, but that's okay. Some decent skins, more bunny girls, new in the theme, and then we have Reflection of the Oasis. Now, this is when Worship Wednesday started about this time. I forgot when exactly. It was towards the end because I only did Gorizia. But I did record Andrea Doria. I think I did Attila Regulo too. But I just want to keep up to date with this, them at the time. And the audio quality is probably not the best compared to it is now. Hopefully it's a lot better now. Yeah, that's when Worship Bunch started. It was a cool event. Different uh, game mode. And the challenge mode was really nice because you add a bunch of debuffs to yourself and try and work through it. We had Drunk Essex again. And I don't remember London's hair being that dark, though. I know it's dark in that skin. I remember commenting on that originally. Yeah, so really good skins in that event. Uh, flight attendant, Andrea Doria, so planes do exist. Yet yeah, no shit, Gunner. Planes exist. They have aircraft carriers. And passenger liners. Next up, July 13th, PR Season 6 started. And I believe, actually, we skipped something. So in between these two, let's move to... Cure Sergeant Co. was Anime Expo. Now, I went to Anime Expo, and about, about the time of Reflection of the Oasis, I was like, okay, maybe a little before then. I was like, okay, if I can get to 10 subs by July, I'll keep the channel going. If not, mm, I'll move on to something else. Do something else. Do something else with my time, you know? I was like, yeah, I was like, if it doesn't start growing soon, after a couple months, then people don't want to see it, I guess, so we'll do something else. But that's when the channel hit 10 subs, and I'm like, okay, that's cool. I finally got to my goal. Then on the way to Anime Expo, like the days leading up to it, got to like 60 subs. I'm like, holy cow, that's some serious growth. That's six times the subs. And I wanted to go to the booth. At Anime Expo, um, I drove down. It was a nice, like, six and a half hour drive. Um, the line again was super long. Understandable. Um, the line for the Zero Lane booth was just completely backed up, and they didn't want people staying in the walkway, which is understandable. But I, I went to one panel. It was like the music of, it was music of Evangelion, Volume 3. It's like the third time they did it. And that was really cool. Really enjoyed that. But unfortunately, my friend started having like a major panic attack while we were down there. When we first arrived in the city, pretty much. He's from a bit more of an urban area than I am. I thought he'd be okay. I thought I'd have the issues. And the hotel we are staying in was not the best and not in the best area. It was kind of close to the country center. It was cheap. So, get what you pay for, I guess. So, unfortunately, I did not get much in terms of, like, footage or photos, other than, well, I didn't even take the photo. I saw it briefly, but someone else posted the photo of uh, Sufren. So I briefly saw her. I did see Umi Musume getting a mope spinoff game. It's like a party game, so at some point, that will be a Sunday special when that comes out. Yeah, so unfortunately, that didn't pan out too well. I meant to go 
see Iowa and Midway, and that also didn't pan out because I was like, my friend was just a mess, and I was like, okay. He, you know, he said, I'll, said they'll go home and you know, find a way home, and I was like, no, no, that, that ain't right, so we'll just, we'll just both go, because the hotel is really shitty. There was no way I was going to fucking sleep in that hotel room. It was, like, next to the boiler room. Really, really small bed, really uncomfortable. It was supposed to be a two- bed hotel room but they did not have that and my reservation got messed up so I got screwed on that one and yes that was a uh, that was unfortunate but I will uh ideally I'm planning a trip right now hopefully in May sometime I'll be doing a bit of a marathon of museum ships so I believe what we're gonna do is me and I don't know how many other people. We're gonna start by going down to the Southern California area. We're gonna go see Iowa. We're gonna see Midway. We're gonna see the sites down there for a couple days, like two or three days. Drive back up closer to where I live, and then go, you know, see the area around here, and then go over to the Bay Area, and drive back. This be over a couple days. And see Hornet again, because these people haven't seen Hornet. Go see Pampanito. I have not seen Pampanito, neither have they. But Alcatraz, I've not been to Alcatraz, so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun trip. Probably not gonna be videos that week or the week after, just because I'm gonna be wiped out. But I'll let you guys know ahead of time. But I'm taking plenty of photos and videos, and so it'll be kind of my tour promo video, like I did for New Jersey and. Less so for Intrepid, just because that was not the best experience. It was cool, but just not the best experience. Yeah, you know, where was I? Oh, yeah, it's talking about the PR6. I was excited for this. I thought, because when I saw the Sufren thing, I was like, oh, it's going to be teasing PR6. And it turns out it was not. And I thought, okay, the theme of PR6 is going to be like combination of factions. And it's probably going to watch that for Kearsarge because. It's all from World of Warships, and Kearsarge was an American, a design by American designer for the Soviet Navy, as I don't want to say that, you know, Navy um, didn't really exist. But, so she's kind of reflecting on that. For us, not so much. But yeah, quite like Kearsarge. Got her Barnard Girl skin. Came out this morning as of recording. And yeah, but that was cool. Got Hindenburg, Felix Schultz, Flantra, and Shimanto. Got some skins. Got some Gear Lab stuff. Got Ogden modules. Look, I guess they kind of previewed Houston. Getting Houston too, up there. Interesting. And I think this is when they also added the meta. Yeah, the meta skill books, so you can speed up skills learning for meta ships, which took a while. And then we had another rerun. So we had the Gridman slash Dinazian rerun, where you got Princess Hime and the second, where they said, okay, we just had Kearsarge, Aviation Battleship. Add another. <laughs> yeah, cool event. Get some characters. Got a bunch of new skins. Yep, there's the Fox skin. Take one. But yeah, quite nice skins. I was surprised that all of them, like, or most of them got additional skins in the rerun. Well, the main ones. It's only Marie Rose got a second skin in the their live event. August 3rd, we have Anthem of Remembrance with Marseille. I remember this one. I remember her doing her Worship Wednesday. And then Highway Star, so we get Jamaica Highway skin. And then the Essex Bike skin finally ran. There was a guy in my old guild big fan of Essex, and he just wanted this skin so bad. And I don't know if he kept missing. I don't know if it was not available for Black Friday, or whenever those are available. Or what. But hopefully he finally got this damn skin. You know, between August 3rd and August 16th. Then Essex got another bike skin anyway, so. Yeah, shout out to him. Uh, the guild stuff got upgraded. So more dock slots, more coin storage, all that good stuff. Uh, did they upgrade the cattery stuff? I don't think so. No. 
for non-public guilds. Yeah, I don't see Cattery. Shame. We love the Cattery. That was my old guild we'd always make fun of. Like, oh, what should we do next after we do, you know, the dock slots? A couple of us would say Cattery, because it just reduced the cost of buying them. But towards the end of the game, it's fantastic. For most people, they don't really mess with the cats, other than they have the gold ones and throw them on. They don't care. They don't care. They don't want it. That was fun. Eventide's Eve. Follow Arms World Expo Phase 1. And this was prelude to the Summon Sue event. We're getting close to the 6th anniversary of the Unicorn Free Skin. I guess I have it on her. And yeah, we got Clemensu and. Which actually scroll up to actual ships. Boishin and Panlov and Kirsan and Leon and Sufren, finally. You now, seeing Sufren. See, looking at it now, between like July 1st, I think it was when I saw Sufren existed, and then her actually coming out a little over a month later, like a month and a half later. At the time, it felt like a long difference, but now it's like, oh, that was not that far apart, actually. I bet some more French ships. Sufren's probably still my favorite from that event. I'm not a huge fan of Clemenceau's art and design. I know it's the same artist as like John Bart, but whatever reason, I don't know. Something about it. We also got the West Virginia retrofit and some Fates and Fives for ER5. And we also got Yorktown and Oskin. I believe they this is when they changed it so you could have Oskins carry over between the two variants or the Muse variants. Had some rerun skins. So for Blucher and that event, that should be coming up pretty soon. With Blucher and Brunhild and Magdeburg. I think that was all for there. Yep. And the Enterprise skin. Yeah, because I remember at the 6th anniversary event, the in-person one, that was, that was a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun there. We were, uh, we were waiting in the line for something. And so we got in front of us. We were asking, like, hey, is this line? Like, yeah. So, oh, well, hang out with this guy then. And so we did. We hung out the rest of the day and I ended up driving him to the airport after we went to lunch. That was cool. Really fun event. I recommend going to that kind of stuff. But I remember I saw the Itachi cars out outside the Hornet. Outside the Hornet, not the Hornet, just Hornet. And Enterprise was on there. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't really remember the Itachi that was at Anime Expo because I didn't really get to see it. And while I have worked on cars for a while, I'm not a car expert or really a car guy. Kind of a fraudster in that regard. I know how to work on some of them. I'm not super familiar with all of them. And so I assumed it was the same thing. Let's come up later. When I saw the Itachi car outside of SAC Anime, I was like, oh, I recognize this car. And I saw the guy was wiping it down. I was like, I feel like I see this car everywhere. And he's like, oh, yeah, where do you see it at? And I thought, oh, yeah, I saw it at the Resort Lane event. And I saw it at SAC, uh, Anime Expo. I was like, oh, I didn't go down there. That was a different one. Oh, okay, so, yeah. Cool guy. Does lots of you know, car events with his car group. And August 31st, we had Jinsu Meta get added. Apparently, she's very good for PvP, as I discovered when trying to do PvP. Like, her and Fortune Meta. And I think they had Noshiro. Noshiro or Shimakase. That's a really good combo. Repulse Meadows add to the dossier analysis. I was really sad I did not get her when she originally ran. I was kind of get burnt out with the game. I was like, oh, in Opsai. But we finally got Perseus permanently, as well as Hermione and Howe and Eagle and the rest of the lot. And Ian. And Perseus is very good. Skins, Zuzu skin. I still don't think I have a Zuzu actually. And then Bill permanently in the Epos in the Cordata shop. We got our skins for the event. Next up in September, we had Effluence for Eclipse. So this is Unzen, Hatsuki, Awari, Asanagi, and Natori. Decent little event. I know Unzen's pretty good. Everyone else didn't really use. So, like, I think Awar is my favorite design out of the lot. But I did like um, the history of 
Hatsuki when I was reading it. Her final stand was very... I, I'm a, a bit of a sucker for like tragic endings, kind of like that. Or final stands. So. Then Nachi got a retrofit. We got some skins. So Haku got a skin. I was very happy with the Haku skin. The previous one I liked. The kind of waitress one. I liked it at first, then it kind of just got kind of wore out on it. So, but I liked this one a lot better. And then we got Omega Booba Kashino. Or he's still very nice. I like the Katsuragi one because it doesn't make her her face look weird. If you've seen her default art and her skin she has, it looks kind of strange. Then we got some more skins for this event. So I was it was kind of weird that Unzins was a week later. We got the Shinado one, party dress skins, and some rerun skins, and permanent available. Some more party dress skins. There you go. I like the San one one because it reminds me of Lacasis from Prime Four, and then September twenty eighth. This was, I believe this is a, some kind of event going on. I mean, it had skins. It got Remy skin. I actually didn't look at her oath lines until recently. Like all the lines for it. They got Essex bike skin. I think this was all announced during the same live stream as the Ungeon thing, so they just kind of spread it out. So there must have been some kind of anniversary going on at the time. Got a rerun of the Nevada skin. More reruns. October 19th, we got Houston 2 in Chapter 15. Nice little... Campaign mode. Definitely a lot easier once I kind of changed the team around and got down to safe mode. Definitely screw up some runs in the process, but that's how it goes sometimes. Yep, ready to, well, still don't have Houston 2. It's not ready to move on to Chapter 16 just yet. I believe Hard Mode 13 came out around this time as well. Maybe the week prior. Next in October, for the Halloween event, we had the new Tempesta ship. So Golden Hind, Mary Celeste, Sal Martino. Adventure Galley, still don't get that name, and Wida. That was pretty cool. I like the inclusion more Tempest. I like the inclusion more Tempesta ships. That was nice. Overall, wasn't a huge fan of skins. If I'm being honest, like I like the Sal Martino one, but the rest that was kind of man. Victorious was nice. I like the Yukata skins. You can probably tell. I generally have Yukata Lulu as my secretary for all my videos. Then Shimakaze run in November. In November. And there's Katsuragi. See something about it. It's kind of hard to tell. If I zoom in, it's going to mess up where I'm on the page. So I'm not going to do it. Something about Katsuragi's face. Like the proportions are off somehow. Yep, hopefully got Shimakaze. So there you go, Shimakaze. Remember reading this event and seeing her face off against Hakuryu. Um, Black Friday stuff, there you go. Bunch of reruns, lucky boxes, get rewards for buying stuff. Didn't actually end up buying skins I was planning on doing so. Just kind of like, eh. I like the Nelson skin. I already had. And... For her uh, retrofit art, I like her voice lines better. Her retrofit art, she's nicer to <laughs> nicer to you in her retrofit than she is in that one. It's not as bad as her default art. Her default, she's just a bitch. So November twenty third, man, we had a lot of collab events this year. We had the Center and Kagura event, so a bunch of characters from that. Not bad. And the damage dart. Now that video I made, it's like two minutes long. So, you know, it gives a bump there. But I was like, oh, I'm kind of getting burnt out. I don't have really a really bunch of video ideas right now. The old brain juice is running dry. What should I do? And I discovered, because I didn't know how to do damage dart. It's like, okay, well. I discovered it. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. Why not? Let's make a video. And then it, Came like my third most viewed video in like two days. And like, this is the power of the horny. Just 
horny post. But I'm gonna not horny post because that is like the one ring. It will corrupt you and it will destroy you. I'd rather my content be more focused on gameplay information. And at some point I want to do story stuff. Now whether that's doing a like general summary and the key points, or if that's like reading the story event and then writing basically an audiobook version of it so you can listen to me talk about it. And so it'd be like, you know, speaking from a third person perspective, there will not be any voice imitations. Uh, there'll be some visuals up there, but I'm thinking about doing that. I just haven't got around to it. I need to finish up my timeline. I've been working on. I say I've been working on. I worked on for a while and then haven't worked on it in months. I think the last time I worked on it was like when New Jersey came out. This is yeah, after I went to New Jersey herself. And we're catching up to more present day. So popularity poll. There we go. Kirov Meta. We're now Meta added to Dossier. And then Vern Orthonaut. I did not make a video on this just because not didn't have too much to say. Uh U thirty seven's the best there. But everyone else, like if you're gonna pull, you're probably flowing for Heinrich. I know how it goes. Uh U thirty seven's the best, and you can get her for free. So my favorite price free ninety nine. And we got the prelude to Guam. Guam and Co. and just Let's let all the images load. Yeah, so almost up to date. Caught up. So Guam, Laffy 2, Constellation, Flasher, Louisville, and San Jacinto. I think Constellation is still my favorite in this event. Design wise, personality wise. I don't know. I I really like Guam's voice. But I don't know. I still feel like I've seen the non preview versions of her dynamic art and her LTD. And they look a lot better. I don't know. It's just something about it. it. Just doesn't seem the best. But yeah, decent event, decent little event. Definitely grab Lappy too if you haven't already. Hopefully you've had good luck pulling. If you've been pulling on this event. Bunch of bunny girl skins. Rerun skins galore. More perma skins. Orc rerun got announced that. It'll be coming soon. And we got the second bunch of skins in this event. So more Bunny Girl skins. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm just looking at the preview here. And by God. It's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> how they cut it off like that. Cure Sarge. Still need to get Cure Sarges. I haven't got it yet today. Yeah, so that was kind of the summary of the year in terms of Zer Lane and the channel itself. A nice little walk down memory lane of, you know, the game over the year and the channel. Uh, once again, thank you so much for 400 subs. We're a little over that. I don't think we'll be hitting 500 before the end of the year. That'd be cool, but I don't think it's going to happen. As for the coming year, we'll have Orc Rerun. We'll have, I think Musashi's after Ulrich. Like Musashi, Vanguard, Yorktown 2, I'm blanking on who else after Yorktown 2. It's implacable. I don't know, it'll be a while. And we'll have the event with Blucher, Brunhild, and Magdeburg. There'll be a lot of Iron Blood stuff coming up pretty soon. As for events, in terms of like actual stuff, there's SAC anime coming up in a couple days. I don't know if I'm probably going to go to that. Because I've been a couple times. It's just a lot of the same, same. No voice actors I really want to go meet or whatever. All right, there's definitely cool people there. Cool stuff to check out. That's one cool thing about SAC anime, if you're in the area, is that you can meet voice actors, English voice actors, be specific to that. So past years, they've had like the God of War actors. The One Piece actors, um, Devil May Cry. There's a bunch of the famous English actors. You know, I think they have a Genshin panel this year. 
or last time they had a Genshin panel. If it's a Honkai, one of the one of those in that general universe panels. After that is CarrierCon. I'll definitely go into that. I still don't have word on whether it's me. What panels will be there? I have a sinking I have a sneaking suspicion there will be a World of Warships panel because they posted something about Hornet immediately after Hornet announced that or that CarrieCon was announced to date. That should be in March sometime, end of March. Go to that. Hope we'll see some of you guys there. Um, if they have tours, I might get some people together. Might pay for like, you know, half a dozen people to go take a tour of like the island or the machine area, something like that. That'd be cool. After that, don't really have big plans for the rest of the year. Other than I was talking about a trip. So I'll be in May sometime. Uh there'll be I'll let me taking a break from the channel. I'll be recording videos and stuff. In terms of like photos and of locations of map. But unless there's like some big event going on, I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Kinda chill out. Talked about previously and then well let's just skip that for now. And then Azur Lane physical event. No idea what it's gonna be. If it's on the West Coast, I'll try and go. I don't think it'll be at Hornet two years in a row. It is a nice space for it, but it would make sense for them to have it elsewhere so it's more accessible to other people. So people, you know, on the East Coast have a better chance of going. Um, I don't think they'll have it on Intre Intrepid. I just something about Intrepid. It seems like not we don't have as open space because they have a giant display going down the middle of her hangar bay. More cramped. And just that I don't think they'd make their money but like it'd be financially worth it for them to close for a day like that. So like they have a space shuttle there and all that stuff. Um after that, I don't really I don't have really physical plan locations. For the channel in the next year I just want to hit 500. We're close, you know, under 100 subs away from 500. We get there and we get a couple more hundred view hours. We monetize the channel. That way I can get some money back from a couple hours a day I spend on this. Um, I didn't want to put ads on it, but then I saw YouTube was already putting putting ads on it regardless of what I think. So, well, if they're going to do it anyway, might as well make some money off it. Hope you don't mind too much. And Worship Wednesday will continue. I think I'll probably spend it for a week or two during the Ulrich event, just because I don't think very many of those ships existed at the time. Um, Where is the Ulrich skin? Who all came out in that event? Well, let's see. I think there might have been like a submarine that was out. That actually existed. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely talk about <laughs> U-1206. I will definitely talk about U-1206. So, for the most part, there will be a break. But I will definitely talk about U-1206. Do not worry. There will be a Worship Wednesday on U-1206 for the Ulrich event. I'll probably do that ahead of time. Um, There will be a special coming up in April. On time of my birthday for Honolulu. I've been diligently working on that for months now, just mass gathering as much information I can, getting photos, getting videos, just you know, a couple nights. I've just spent too many hours just searching online, trying to find various photos and videos of her during her service life. I have most of her deck logs saved for when she was active during World War II. I'll probably grab the ones from just prior and just after as well. I went and got, what's it, U.S. Cruisers by Friedman. So I can use that as a reference guide too. Yeah, definitely. I'm working hard on that. That'll be my, uh, my shining one. So that'll be a long one. I know 
Eldritch was supposed to be long, and then I realized it'll end up being like 12 minutes. I'm like, okay, well, it's longer than normal, but yeah, Lulu will be. I'm definitely putting some effort into it. I should start, you know, working on actually producing the video sometime soon. That's coming up. And then I was talking about the lore stuff for the game. Unsure how I want to do it. I'm really leaning towards like the audiobook style stuff. That way it's not too much speculation and it's just that I can just, you know, guess all day and be wrong. And I could I know if I make videos on the old stuff and just kind of go chronologically and I'll say, you know, and if I treat it like it was at the time or the event is standing by itself, someone's going to come like, oh, we already know this stuff, that, uh, like this happens, like XYZ. So I'm going to try and avoid that. I appreciate you guys. But, and you guys are nice. Sometimes you can get a couple comments or two and just like, hmm. Turn my hair out a little bit. But yeah, I think that's uh, rambled enough. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you had a good holidays. Do one more video out this year. Hopefully. Sunday special. We be final in part three. Still not recorded that yet. So, might be after this. Or maybe I'll take the weekend off. I hope you have a fun and safe new year. Once again, thank you for support this year. Really appreciate it. Give you something to do. And this is my, uh, tertiary job. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next year. Bye-bye.